Hi, this is Srinivas. Today I am going to explain the third class about C language. Okay, I will. I am going to explain some basic th things before I explained. Okay, those things with the help of a small program. I am going to explain. Hi, viewers. You can view more videos uh, with the help of our channel www.youtube.com/slash/a-learning-room without spaces a-learning-room. Okay. So now we will continue with the help of small program. This is a small program uh, to add uh, two numbers, right? To add two numbers with the help of this small program, I can explain many things. See here, whenever we write any program, the program starts from uh, main function. Okay, so main parenthesis. This is called a round parenthesis. Okay, so before uh, I used uh, adder files ash include std io dot h ash include con io dot h std io dot h is a standard input output dot adder file console input output dot adder file these are the two header files so compulsory these two header files has to be included whenever you write any program so sometimes we have to more uh, we have to add more header files timing you should remember these two header files has to be included each and every program okay this ash is called a pre direct to processor right so main is a function after that uh, curly braces you have to start right Every program has to start curly braces, right? Int a comma b comma c semicolon. Int is a data type, and a, b, c are uh, three variables. And uh, every statement in C language is terminated by a, in generally semicolon, right? So here the next is a uh, printf. Uh, here printf is a function which is used to display the text of uh, any string see whatever we put in the double quotes uh, that value will be displayed so printf enter any value for a so a b c or t i mean not variables so this enter any value for a it will display right so printf is a function which is declared in std io dot h next scanf double quotes percentile d double quotes and comma ampersand a this is end symbol scanf is a function which is used to take input from the keyboard here whatever in the double quotes percentile d this is called a format specifier and a this is the ampersand symbol a it means the value for a means it will store the address variable of a right next printf enter any value for b the same thing which i have explained next c is equal to a plus b c is a variable so this is equal to is an assignment variable and plus is a arithmetic variable so c is equal to a plus b semicolon printf the sum is equal to percentile d comma c it means uh, the sum is equal to it means whatever the value which is stored in c value i am going to print uh, here c is a variable of uh, uh, variable and uh, percentile d is the format specifier next here get c h is a function what exactly it will do see whenever if there is no get c h function automatically whatever we get the result uh, so we are not able to see the output result uh, so it will come the output result automatically again it will go to the dos uh, editor it means to wait some to wait uh, for that reason we use uh, get ch function so get ch function it it will wait to get from the keyboard input uh, so whenever i will use get ch the display output we will see what exactly the output of the program for that reason we use here get ch function and next return zero so this is the program uh, this is the program to add uh, two numbers okay with the help of this program if you run this program it will ask enter any value for a and enter any value for b if we give two values automatically it give the display in the sum of the two numbers it will give so this is about the basic program which i have explained uh, many things what exactly this is uh, int uh, is or hash include std io dot h and main function next we will go for another thing that is a uh, 
modifiers used with the basic data types as we have explained uh, the basic data types are int char double float these are all the basic data types so modifiers used with the basic data types the basic data types may have various data types preceding them a modifier alters the meaning of the basic type to fit various situations more precisely the modifiers are long short signed unsigned so among these uh, I mean modifiers I am going to explain long and unsigned the rest of the things are same uh, as usual right long the long modifier can be applied to int and double data types it can store up to the maximum and minimum of uh, this number 21474 in the previous class uh, whenever I declare uh, integer after that L it means uh, indication long okay and next uh, unsigned int this is also very important you should remember if I declare as an unsigned int what is the meaning of that one here the unsigned int has the same memory requirements uh, as an ordinary int uh, however in the case of ordinary int uh, or short int or long int the leftmost bit is reserved for sign so it means as I explained if it is it takes generally two bits it means 2 to the 4 of 16 values I can store but it takes one bit for sign so 2 to the 4 of 15 values I can store to means that is equal to 32,768 so on a typical 2 byte int it has a range of 32,767 to minus 32,768 that is generally if I declare the variable as an int right ok but uh, with an unsigned int all the bits are used in numerical value it means uh, the double of the value of ordinary int so that is that is uh, from 0 to 65535 it means so whatever the value 2 to the power of 16 i can uh, use those 2 to the power of 16 value it means uh, 2 to the power of 16 is equal to 65 of uh, normal int if i declare as an unsigned int right next thing is format specifiers here you see this one scanf format string comma arguments semicolon okay in the same purpose like scanf percentile d means within the double quotes comma ampersand symbol a semicolon it means whatever this format string and arguments see the first argument to the scanf function is a format string this is called percentile d is a format string which contains uh, format specifiers uh, these are okay these are called uh, format specifiers right see here percentile d stands for decimal that is for integer next to percentile c stands for characters percentile f stands for float percentile s stands for string so these are all called format specifiers the subsequent variables 